Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. We are in the port city of Porto, and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. There's the whistle, and here we go. Tries to stroke it through. Oh, good interception. Ogbonna. Cresswell. Dawson drives it forward. Yarmolenko really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Perez. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Oh, great ball. Now can he finish? Party. Madison. Madison! That had everyone off their seats. Oh, and it's such a good effort. And maybe the target really should have been hit. Ben Rama. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Yarmolenko. It's Antonio. Leicester have it back and they can go again. Bertrand. And it's Barnes. And here's Perez. He's managed to get that all wrong. Hoists it forward. Yarmolenko gets into a dangerous position. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Out to the right. In comes the cross. Cleared away. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Bertrand does well to read it and intercepts. And the defence can get it clear. well oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp 
Ben Rama. Goes for goal! Lacking in accuracy. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Ricardo Pereira goes looking. Perez, Vardy. Dawson is there and he can get that clear. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, no joy. West Ham can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Cresswell. Ogbonna plays it forward. Played back. And Antonio! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. <laughs> Ricardo Pereira. Ben Rama. Right through the middle. He came in hard, very hard. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the... Goes for goal! He scored! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Dawson tries to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leicester head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And we're already back on the way here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. <laughs> Repelled by the keeper. Lanzini gets it away. Great leap! And in it goes! And there's the goal they've been looking for! What a super header, dispatched beautifully.
Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Leicester take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. And here's Lanzini, Cresswell. Oh, sweet feet. That's surely a foul free kick. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Vardy. Back to the keeper and try something new. Ogbonna. Ogbonna plays it forward. West Ham get it back again. Yarmolenko. West Ham are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work. He's had a shot! And more, and more, and more! And they are pulling clear here! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Yarmolenko pushes to get on the end of it. Ndidi, Madison. Out to the left it goes. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And that has been cleared. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Ogbonna drives it forward. Madison Dawson does well there, alert Kufal Kufal plays it towards the front now it's Antonio Antonio plays it out to the flank Kasper Schmeichel gets it upfield Madison Forward it goes. And it's Pereira. Madison. Over to the left. Now it's Lanzini. Time and again they are repelled. Vardy. Perez. And it's Lanzini. It's got through to him. He's had a go! Yarmolenko, and the follow-up, he has done it! West Ham are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven.
West Ham give themselves a fighting chance. Back in with a shout. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's being played forward. Vardy gets flagged offside. Rice. And here's Cresswell. Good. And Antonio! It's a goal! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. West Ham give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Perez. Madison. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Leicester win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, at the moment, Peter, if you want an outfit to win on the road, I'd pick this lot.